Well, we're back in Florida. It's about time to kick off the 2020 Bassmaster Elite Series season. We're at the St. John's River um, in Palatka, Florida. Probably not a lot of people know about Palatka, but um, I, I'm, I was fortunate enough to find out about this little place and live here for the last few years. Actually, I met my buddy Larry's house. He runs a, a corporate lodge here for fishing um, guide trips. And I came down here and started working for them for the last few years and picked up more work just living down here and made a lot of, you know, connections and, and good friends. And, you know, this is kind of like a second home for me. And I, it's just kind of cool to really start, um, you know, my, my career here. And it definitely feels like, like home a little bit. So it's pretty cool. But the next couple of days, I'm just going to be <clears throat> getting all the tackle ready, making sure all my um, everything is good with the boat. Just go over with everything with a fine tooth comb. Just had the truck service today. Um, you know, just making sure that there's nothing else to think about except finding and catching, you know, the right fish here at the St. John's this week. So we'll be uh, checking back with you guys from time to time, you know, over the following week. But uh, just want to give everybody an update of what's going on and really excited to kick this week off. Hey, buddy. Hey, Lunker. <laughs> There's a lot of work behind the scenes that goes into preparing for a big tournament. One thing I really like to do is get my live wells really cleaned out and ready to go. You definitely don't want to kill any fish. Get all my tackle tip top, check all my knots, check all my reels and the drag. Got to see some of the wildlife. No iguanas falling out of trees, thankfully. And then we were ready to kick off the first Bassmaster Elite Series tournament practice. You know, practice has been pretty tough so far. I've kind of been a little bullheaded, I feel, but you know, I just made it a little adjustment and was rewarded pretty quick. Being at St. John's again was definitely like a comfort factor for me. I haven't been there for a couple years prior. You know, the one good thing about an experience is knowing your way around, feeling comfortable. But another negative to that is also feeling real comfortable. When conditions are changing like they were, you know, I really tried to make an effort to fish a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't fish because in Florida when you have a cold front or really crazy weather conditions you know it really changes how the fish act and it changes a lot of the, the traditional areas where you catch them they're, they're moving and um, they get a lot harder to catch you know that was something that I really wanted to prepare for in practice you know I looked looked at a lot of different things um, cover a ton of ground and put myself in the best position to you know, do the best I could. Well, we're about to head over for the first Elite Series kickoff meeting here at the St. John's. Um, definitely excited for this one. Um, not, not that the fishing is tremendous or anything. It's kind of tough right now, but I'm just really excited to start a new chapter here. It's a cool, cool adventure. I'm really grateful for being able to do this. So, I mean, I, I can't, still it doesn't even seem real, like it's pretty crazy, but uh, I'm going to go do my best tomorrow, I mean it's going to be pretty windy, it's going to definitely be warm so that should be a good thing, it's just getting bumped around a little bit, it's probably going to take its toll, you just got to take into account, you know, for time and everything, but I'm excited to kick this one off. Going to the Elite Series, first Elite Series meeting was really a lot different than the Opens. There was a lot more media buzz around it, a little bit different situation, you know, checking boat wraps and doing a lot of drone shots and TV profiles and stuff. It was a really cool experience. The official meeting really made it real. And I was a little bit nervous, you know, the night before, but kind of all the jitters went away by the time I went to bed. I was ready to go back and do what I love to do. Well, it's the night before our first Bassmaster Elite Series event. It's been a day full of meetings, um, media stuff. It's been been quite a full day, rigging all my stuff, making sure everything's tip top for tomorrow. I'm keeping it very simple tomorrow. I'm pretty committed to what I'm doing. Um, I am gonna be bed fishing probably all day, depending on how things go. The wind is gonna dictate kinda where I'm able to get into and um, 
also boat pressure. It's gonna also dictate kind of where I'm able to fish. But I'm an early boat draw tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. This is a perfect situation, especially having a late boat on Friday because I think it's gonna get much more challenging than it already is on Friday because of the big temperature swing because Florida cold fronts are much more intense on on the fishing than most places in the country. Florida kind of is its own animal, so I'm really grateful to have that that early boat number tomorrow, and hopefully we can go out and catch some on the first day of Bassmaster Elite Series career. After all the buildup and all the preparation, it was pretty interesting to have the first two days postponed. It was kind of like waiting in limbo. Really tried to make the most of the, the two days we had off just to kind of recoup and um, prepare for the, the tournament days. Kind of relaxed and did a little tilapia fishing, did a little bass fishing on our off days and just kind of made sure everything was tip top and ready to go. Tried to de-stress and clear my mind to get ready for the first day. One of the other good things was we were able to do a meet, meet and greet for the, uh, the fans on Friday night, which would have been a tournament day. It was really cool to meet a lot of the people, meet some of the other anglers that I hadn't met, and it was also the people from Bass. Following the 30 degree temperature swing, I knew it would be a big risk to go where I wanted to go the first day. Nevertheless, I decided to make that decision and ended up kind of validating what I was thinking. A lot of the big fish in my area had left, um, but I was able to salvage the day and survive with, with about a 10 pound bag um, pretty quickly right off in the morning. Um, grinded hard down there, was not able to really upgrade and the second day I, I just kind of Fished a lot of history on the river, um, which actually was a big benefit. Ended up finishing my first tournament with a good check and some great Hey, points. we're back on the road. Uh, we just found out yesterday, uh, midday, that the Chickamauga tournament, the one that was supposed to be this week, it just got postponed until March. I can't say that it's the worst thing in the world because uh, my wife and I were kind of her so more than me, but we were stressing out a little bit about a uh, new baby coming. Um, just kind of... Uh, really tight on the timing and stuff so I'm happy uh, happy this has kind of happened it's, it's definitely a blessing and it's for the best so I'm on my way home um, probably gonna make it about halfway today um, Hank Cherry is nice enough to let me keep keep the boat over there in his garage so I will drop it off and keep chugging along and hopefully be there for the, the birth of our, our first child